So, this is the new camera. All right, this is, uh, this is Sony FX30. Let's see, got Sony logos on the side. And I got the one with the handle, because that's super cool. And because I, I wanted the audio. Um, all the other cameras came in boxes, kind of like this, you know. This is, this is the ZV-E10, which I'm about to sell pretty soon. All right, so um, let's not delay the inevitable here. Let's go ahead and just, all right, that's my receipt. I got this off of B&H. It was actually sold out, um, out of stock on, on Adorama, which is where I generally get all my stuff. But, so I was like, you know what, forget that. Uh, so yeah, standard cable. And a bunch of, Catalyst Browse. I've heard so many things about on YouTube in, in regards to the software. Of course, Sony got a, a, a good line of lenses now. So this is one of the reasons I got decided to go with this camera because the Panasonic actually is releasing a full frame camera. Ooh, this must be the camera right here. Ooh, woo -hoo. All right, let me put that off to the side real quick. And this is the top handle I feel like. Let me see if there's anything else in the box. Nope. All right. Is that it? Yep, I think that's it. Now, I generally keep all my boxes because, you know, you never know. <laughs> I might need to return it. I might need to sell it or something of that nature. All right. Look at this, dude. Let's go. Yeah, this handle is tiny. That's why everybody says the, the handle is tiny. I'm gonna get probably the extension for right there. Uh, you got a couple mounting holes there. You got a, this area that screws right in, right? Which is pretty cool. Got my two XLRs. I can, I'm gonna get a mic for that, probably something from Sennheiser. And also I'm gonna find a way to hook up um, live mics, wireless live mics. So I'm gonna have a bunch of different ways to, to set up the audio. So that's really cool. It feels good to be have it in hand. All right, standard brick. This brick is, I don't know. I never use that to charge the camera, honestly. All the stuff, I again, I generally save it. I got your standard uh, Sony battery here. All right, great. Now, time for the, the bad boy. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. All right. Okay. Oh, it feels great. It feels good in hand. It's 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 kind of solid. It's a little light. It's actually a little bit bigger. Everyone always says it's small. It feels small in hand, but I l I like the grip. Sorry, my hand. I, know, I got dry hands right now. But I like the grip. It's a little bit bigger than the standard cameras. Let me see. Okay, so I got my got my A7R here, and the grip, yeah, the grip is definitely bigger. Right, the grip is is just it's just a little bit bigger, and I know Sony's really big on keeping things small and neat. You know, I'm Asians. And so, um, so this is the A7R III. So if you're upgrading, if you're, if you got cameras like that, grip, yeah, just a little bit bigger. It got little rocker buttons here. Uh, if you have electronic zoom, I don't know what lenses have electronic zoom these days. Beep. Okay, Super 35, which is what I was, um, I was very kind of hesitant about because I'm like, if it's the same sensor as the, um, I'm surprised they don't have one of those plastic things on, on the front. But if it's the same sensor, if it's the same sensor as the, as what's in their old A cameras, then, you know, I don't generally want that. But from all the reviews, and stuff, it's a brand new sensor. 
so the noise level is not nearly as bad. feels pretty good. Feels a little plasticky. It was not terrible. Nice. Again, yeah, this handle is tiny. But again, if I have if I'm getting professional audio man to come into the mic, the, I mean to come get into the camera plus his recording for for uh, tracks of audio, then I'm down. I'm I'm game. Is that front heavy? Okay, so with a lens, it's not. It's probably not going to be bad. All right, let's see with the lens. Thirty-five G Master. All right, so I got the thirty-five G Master. Let's pop this bugger on. Ah, yeah, it's starting to, starting to get a little weighty now. Do that. Oh, it slides. Oh, snap. Okay. So you do that, and it slides open. Ha! Huh. Cool, mountain holes right there, hole right there. Full size HDMI, let's go. I hear you can't use both at the same time though. You can't use the top handle and this at the same time. Uh, well, not that you'd need to. You got a multi port and SSR. Uh, okay, I think the battery's dead. So let me get another battery. The temperature of this device may rise to prioritize recording time. Would you like to change the setting? Okay. I'll register later. Registration form later. Okay. Uh, perform pixel mapping. Optimize the image sensor. Okay. Attach the lens cap for a lighting shield before running pixel mapping. Okay. There's no card. Wow, okay. Let's go. Let's see what controls what here so far. Oh, so all of these, um, you got the things that are essential for video, uh, shutter, zebras, peaking, uh, display here. Uh, let's see, shutter. Huh? Either way, I'm going to have to figure out how to use this thing and then try to give it a go. But it's working. <laughs> Everything looks and feels amazing. And so um, you guys are going to be seeing some videos from this. I need to shoot some test footage. Um, to see what this camera can do. All right, and um, I know I have a few projects like like shooting some ads for a few different companies and a few different small businesses, which I think this will be perfect, which is the reason why I bought this, but I also want to shoot my own like personal projects and stuff like that. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for if you made it through this entire video. Thanks again for your support. Have a wonderful, amazing day. Peace.